Good morning everyone, this is Rifgal, playing some more Final Fantasy VI T edition. This is going to be take two at the burning uh, building, after we uh, made a few mistakes there. So, here's the big change I made. Well, actually we're going to do two, because I just noticed this as well. <clears throat> so first thing we're doing is giving Terra an earring, because the word bangle does nothing here, because there are no random encounters. Second thing we're doing is instead of uh, whatever else I had on uh, Strago, we are going to use the Katyusha, which gives him protection from Berserk, which the enemies in this area use a lot. So. With that, I'm hopeful that we can have a slightly better run here. <clears throat> Last time we didn't even make it to the boss, which is too bad. <laughs> now that heat rush isn't going to actually affect anybody but Locke. And Locke hits things pretty well. <laughs> so him being berserk is on. Didn't actually see what that weapon or what that drop was. Fire sword, fire whip? Okay, Fire Whip. That's new. <clears throat> he is so squishy. Uh, I may be pulling the... Huh. Shinobi gear, okay. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna do a little... One more thing. We're gonna change this Hermes shoes. Unlock. Out for a... Confused Berserk, uh... Confused Berserk, yeah. Out for a cut Yusha. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this gold apple on Strago. I was gonna save it for Celis, for World of Ruin, but I feel like at this point, I am really tired of him dying and another 100 hit points will go a long way. And actually, okay, Terra just learned Asuna. Um... Siren or Phantom? I think I went with Phantom last time, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, and actually, I'm gonna do this. The reason I was actually going to do the Hermes shoes was for this. Um, I wanna see if, how much damage Drago can pull off without the earrings because quite frankly it seems like it should be enough <laughs> like the stuff that he was killing he was killing anyway and part of the reason he's taking so much damage is because we're waiting for him because his turns take forever
and his spells have a really long cast time, apparently. Okay, that still wipes the, that board. He can't kill the other guys anyway, so I feel like that's probably fine. I am always terrible at sneaking past these guys, and uh, this is probably as bad or worse than any other time I've tried. So Heat Rush does nothing, which is part of the reason we're doing this. Hey, we made it past one. Don't even start. <laughs> you know the worst part? Is I went back to get to this area. Or to get to this door, so I didn't miss anything. remember if these trap doors are a one-time thing <clears throat> that has treasure behind it. Nope. It just tries to kill you. If that hits all four, I'll go ahead and do it. Pretty sure that that right one is a treasure chest.
That was supposed to be a multi-target. I think I did the FF4 version of multi-targeting instead of the FF6 version again. Grenades have like 2,000 hit points. They're nasty. I was right. It's a fire rod. Those are super expensive now. I'm gonna try and conserve a little bit of magic because Strago Um Strago's starting to run out and I'm kind of okay with not having to burn any more ethers. Although I might have to. I can buy them now at least, so if I need to, I will, but... Yeah. curious if the boss is also going to use Berserk, because I do feel like we're kind of wasting our Relic slot on that if he doesn't, but there's a good chance that if the powerful enemies here do, the boss will as well. There's an Ice Rod. Okay. Glad to have two. Okay, this is the boss. We're at full health. I am going to go ahead and use this ether just for the sake of it, because I don't want to risk it. We also don't have Kirin because Shadow has it equipped. Mom bomb. We'll see if we need to burn the ice rod. I don't know how much hit point or how many hit points this thing has, but we are doing a lot of damage to it. That was Fyraga. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna be over here being terrified. Attack. But if you use water on the boss that's obviously weak to water, it counters with Fyraga. That seems fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
We're gonna do a little cure. A little cure here. We'll have Locke do some Shiva. I saved his second Shiva for being able to take out once more bombs were summoned. Because I figured there would be more. <laughs> Oh no! Are you... <laughs> Was not expecting that. I had a Shiva left. That's gonna kill Strago again. These guys can still use Fireball, but they don't use it, they don't seem to use it as often. As the other ones use Fyra. This should kill. Looks like it probably took two out of three. Never mind. Okay. Hey, these ones counterattack uh, against Aqua Breath too. Good to know. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> well. Looks like we're going to be doing a third attempt. <laughs> uh, so first thing I want to do is actually... I have one more major change I want to make, obviously. Which is... I need to cut... I need to take Kieran off Shadow so that I can have that available to get regen going right away. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure. Like, that was really nasty. And I feel like we mostly stabilized. I need to probably, instead of... 
the counterattacks against that Aqua Breath just wrecked me. That was a mistake, clearly. I need to just stop using Aqua Breath, maybe. Against those enemies, at least. So, we're gonna jump back in next time with uh, more of the same. And we'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, I may also pick up a couple extra ethers for the sake of it. So we'll be back at the beginning of the burning house next time, and we'll see how it goes from there. Hope you're enjoying. Our, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.